Good day to you my friends, welcome, welcome to my daily vlog. My name's Donato and today is Saturday the 29th of December and it's my 31st daily vlog. Yeah! And in today's vlog I'll be talking about cross training. Yeah? Let's go! Welcome, welcome, a very warm welcome to each and every one of you, whether you're new or old subscribers. And if you are new here and haven't done so yet, then please do consider subscribing, yeah? Give us a thumbs up. Now, yesterday I spoke about the camera gear that I use, and, I'll, and thanks everyone's comments. It seems to be the consensus of opinion is stick with what I have and carry on. So I'm glad that uh, you enjoy that. You can always go back and leave some comments and see what you say, think about to gimbal or not to gimbal. So thank you so much for those comments. But today's vlog was sparked by, as I mentioned uh, yesterday, I had a tweet and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram as at the running guru. I'll leave a, a link down there. You can follow that and follow me on there and leave questions, comments, whatever, and join in in my social meds as well as here on, on the YouTubes. So it was from uh, Noel. Uh, Noel who sent me a tweet and uh, said, got a question for your daily vlog, if you don't mind. How hard do you train in your cross-train classes? Yeah, cross-train workouts. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Noel. I hope you had a good Christmas too. <laughs> yes, I did tweet back, by the way, yeah. So I'm not sort of the uh, look at things and not reply. I do reply as if I do get the tweets and comments, I do do reply back. So yes, thank you for that question, Noel. How hard do you train in your cross-train workouts? Well. I, my immediate response was, I'll just put the phone down, my immediate response was that, uh, do I break out into a sweat? Is, does that determine how hard I cross train? And uh, of recent months, yes, because what I tended to do as a beginner and what I do now is quite different. We do evolve and how I've evolved in terms of my body, physique and so on. I do a lot of different things now than what I've done as a beginner. So my immediate answer in terms of what I do now, do I break out into a sweat? Well, no. Because um, most of my cross training is predominantly uh, yoga, non, you know, static type stuff cross training. So I think, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but there's those who are PT people out there, I think the word cross train is a form of um, uh, machinery or equipment, is it? I, I don't know. Leave some comments below. I mean, for, leave comments below on, on anything I'm saying as I'm going through because. For me, cross training is doing something that's not the actual sport itself. So for me, as a runner, for me, cross training is doing a different kind of activity that doesn't involve running. So the there's, I tend to break cross training into two types. Yeah, oh, I forgot my tea. <laughs> let's carry on, let's carry on, yeah, without the tea. So there's two types of uh, cross training. There's the aerobic and non-aerobic, yeah? So for me at the moment, I tend to do a lot of non-aerobic stuff, which is yoga, uh, stretching, and all types of stuff. After I've done uh, a particular run, or on some days where I'm having rest days, I'll do some uh, yoga type stretches. There are other things that you can do, like Pilates, um, body balance, Tai Chi, all that type of stuff, which is getting the body stretching and stuff. And I tend to class that in the uh, non-aerobic, you know, hard workout type stuff. And then you've got the aerobic type cross training, which I tend to do more of now, which, uh, and again, for the cross training, it really depends on what is on your training plan because cross training can be used to replace some of the runs that you do. As I was saying, it as a beginner, I was out three times a week so um, doesn't sound much, but the other days I was still remaining active, even on the rest days where I'd be doing some uh, yoga or other types of activities. And the main activity that I used to do was mainly spin classes. And I did do one last night. Yeah, for the first time in nearly, 
must be 18 months, two years, I think. I've done a spin class and uh, here's how I got on. Oh man, just come out of that spin class. Whew. That was uh, tough going, real good sweat. And as I say, depending on what kind of uh, training plan you've got, workout session will determine what kind of cross training you'll do. So tonight I thought I'd give it a real good bit of spin. Hey, like the pun intended. And boy, it was sweaty. So time to do my stretches. I've done a, bit, a few post stretches in the class now, do some more stretches and uh, relax, ease down and enjoy my Friday night. Later. So yes, as you can see from that Noel, I did get into quite a sweat. Um, is it because I've not done it for uh, a long time? Is it because it's in a confined space? I do tend to sweat a lot when I'm on the uh, treadmill. Yeah, it's indoors, so when I'm outside, I don't, don't tend to sweat as much and when it's cooler. But uh, but yeah, it's that was a pretty intense uh, workout for me. I think it was about 50 minutes on the uh, spin classes. But in terms of the aerobic stuff, the things that I tend to do now, and it's more just to keep the body ticking over, I don't tend to do hard, hard um, cross training sessions. But again, it depends on the training plan. If you had some plans, because sometimes you can do like, there's swimming that you can do, which is great, yeah, for all round body type things. I tend to do more of the rowing. Sometimes I use the uh, elliptical, cross, I think that might be called a cross trainer, so the elliptical trainer. And uh, other, other machines, the static bikes as well can be good. And I think there's things called, uh, there's bikes now that uh, it's all about the energy, watt bikes, have you heard of those? Watt bikes, some people tend to use on that. And also maybe there's some other types of things you wanna use. Leave some comments below in terms of what you do. I have come across these, uh, classes called BAR, B-A-R-R-E, which is all based around what ballet classes you do and they're supposed to help with the core. Have you tried that out? Let me know in the comments below of what you think of the BAR classes. But also, you know, there's there's a whole depth there, but what I'm trying to say is, <laughs> I'm trying to say in a sort of uh, nutshell, is what is your goal? Yeah, so I have done cross training sessions where it's a replacement to the run. So instead of say doing hill repeats or sprints or threshold runs to get the heart rate up, I might do short sprints on the uh, rower, you know, say 500 meters hard, and then I'll do 500 meters easy and then 500 meters hard and so on, yeah? Until I've done, I don't know, about, done that 10 times, 20 times, or there's easy rowing just to keep things going. And the same with, swim swim sessions where you can do you can go out and just do steady 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 just keep the body flowing swish 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 or there's some there's some intense uh, training workouts you can do in a pool where you can do 50 minute 50 minutes <laughs> that'd be good a 50 minute sprint 50 meter sprints yeah so you can do a 50 meter sprint and then uh, you rest at the end of the pool for 10, 20, 30 seconds, whatever the training plan says, and then off you go and do another 50 meters, or it could be 100 meters or 200 meters, or you can mix and match it with sets of 50s, 100s, 200s, yeah? And then you end up doing around 1500 meters, or two kilometers, which is a long way. That's sort of like 40, 50 minutes or an hour in the pool, depending on how quick you're doing those uh, sessions. So that's a pretty tough session. So those tend to be used for instead of, and it'd be good, say, like I've used elliptical, uh, you know, the old elliptical machines, say you're getting over an injury and uh, you need to get moving again and see how the uh, muscles are going in a sort of running form, so it's low impact, it's a great way of getting back into that, so cross training can be used to get back into uh, the running if you've had uh, some injuries or you need to just take the uh, ease and pain off the ankles and knees and joints and all that. So the great thing with cross training is it, it is, it should be uh, low impact or less impact on our bodies and help us to become a bit more evolved and more rounded, yeah? So that in a nutshell is cross training. Are you impressed that I've done all that without a cup of tea or anything like that? Because I did forget to make a brew and, and I could have easily paused the camera, went off, made a cup of tea and come back and edit it in, back in. But no, I thought I'd persist and carry on. So hopefully you found that uh, useful. I'd love to hear your comments below of what you think about cross training. Do you do it yourself? What forms of cross training do you do? Try, how do you use it? Do you use it instead of your running? 
Do you use it in addition to the uh, running? How do you use cross training? Or do you not cross train at all? There are some people who go out and do uh, six, seven days running every day and that's what they do. And the way that they sort of help to remain injury free or whatever is they mix and match the type of running that they do. Hence why we have a variety of runs that uh, we do in terms of whether it be threshold runs, easy runs, steady runs, tempo runs, all the different types of running. So we're moving different types of muscles on that. So thank you so much for watching all this. Hopefully you found it informative in some way. And if you have, give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with your friends. And, uh, and if not, give it the double thumbs down. Yes, click that thumbs down twice, if you know what I mean, yeah? <laughs> so thank you guys for uh, watching again. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday, so it's, um, it's not a long run for me. It's a different kind of run. So I'll be doing something quite different because I've got something coming up early in the new year. So I need to adapt it and change it to that. So more about that uh, tomorrow and maybe Monday or Tuesday because Tuesday's new year. Yeah! Are you ready for the new year? Whatever. It's another day. Yeah. So uh, see you then. Thank you so much for your time uh, to watch these and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And, uh, and as I said at the beginning, if you are new and uh, you haven't done so already, then please do consider subscribing. Really appreciate it. And the thumbs up really does mean a lot to this channel and to me. And it makes me feel good. Yeah, if you like feeling good, then let's do it. See you tomorrow. So wherever you are, whatever you do, keep cross training and running. Bye bye.